Hello folks and welcome back to Relaxing Woodshop. My name is David. My name is Christopher. And on this week we are going to do what we were originally going to do last week, which is a Damascus steel axe handle. Now Damascus steel is beautiful. It's very nice. It is. It's a lovely metal. So we got it in the post and we're going to get right on to it now. Hi guys, so here we go at the ingredients table again. Um, sorry I wasn't with you last week for the shop tour. Um, someone has to pay the bills. So here we go, we have our glue and activator. That's gonna be used to temporarily stick the blanks together so we can give them a wee bit of shape and make them look good. Um, here, here are the blanks. So then we move on to the axe. Looking forward to opening this up. Um, it's quite a nice wee piece of kit, so it is. We have our epoxy resin, that's going to be used to be glued in the uh, blanks once they're all finished um, to the, the actual axe. And then we have our copper uh, rod, this is going to be used as dials just to give it a bit more security and structure, so let's get cracking. Yep. Okay guys, sorry I'm just looking at through this, the see-through because it absolutely looks beautiful, so it is. So let's get it open and see what we've got. Oh wow. That is beautifully done. Don't know what the numbers mean, but of course here's where the handle's gonna go. So we want the handle to run from there to there. Or just looking at it now, I actually might want the handle to run from there to let that protrude at the bottom and then put a wee curve at the top. But yes, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of metal. So let's look at the designs. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so Christopher's just handed me over the blanks. Believe it or not, you, see, you don't see all this that's happening in the background. Our last take for Christopher to do the ingredients was... I don't even have enough fingers in my hands. So anyway, so over to the table. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the design for the handle. Now, to make it easy, if you put the blank on a piece of paper and then run around it, like so, then we know that's what we have to work with in, ta in terms of inside that box or rectangle, should I say. So then what we do, if we put the knife into that zone and then we know what we've got to play with. So I'm thinking if I go to there, that's going to give me plenty to play with on either side. So the shape, let's go for, I'm going to let that protrude I am. So let's run here. Put a wee dot there to here with a wee dot there and then here a dot there and lastly a dot there so we're just about covering that no more so then if i run the line down here and then run that line from that dot up to that dot so then we're going to go across like that so then we move it away and go across like that Put it back again, just so we're getting the exact same shape. And then that dot to there, and let's do that in an inward curve like that. And there's the shape. So let's do that. So what we need to do now is basically gonna glue these two together. So then we have consistency on both sides. And then we're going to then draw that design onto the, the piece of uh, wood. And then we'll get cutting on the scroll saw. So guys, I hope you can see that there. So I've just then copied the piece of paper then onto the wood. So now what we do to make these both uh, the exact same twins, uh, we just need to glue the two together. Now, just the tiniest amount. This is just to hold it together while we're then putting it onto the scroll saw. So, and in case you weren't looking at the camera, Chris, we're just tripped over a cable there. So we'll just put a wee drop here, like so. A bit of activator on this side. and then press them down. And that'll do me to get the uh, onto the scroll saw to match them together. So let's get cutting. Cut out as you can see the shape is very very good now I went slightly to the 
either side of the line so that'll give me a chance now because we're on the sander because we want to smooth it off but make sure that it fits perfectly on there and while we're doing the sanding we'll put a wee curve on it so that we can get the fingers uh, comfortable and holding and grasping the handle. Here we go. shape and if I hold it up to this you'll see that it's almost perfect other than a tiniest wee bit of extra space around the edge there to give me a bit of wiggle room because what we now need to do is we now need to curve the handle to form for the, the hand itself there to be very very comfortable so we're going to go back onto this and we'll spend another 10 minutes shaping it and contouring it uh, to be comfy fit. <laughs> I was so excited that I started sanding away forgetting the actual video until Christopher said are we not filming so we're now going to sand the life out of it and we're going to start off at about 240, 320, 400, 600, 1000 maybe even up to 1500 to try and get a real good clean because at the moment I'm on the rough uh, sanding paper and I'm worried because it's really looking dusty so hopefully as I work up uh, the sanding it'll start really getting smooth fine and getting good colour texture to it. <laughs> so I didn't snap the wood so there's the two bits we're going to sand this side and that side down and then we'll get on to putting out the wee marks to drill the screw holes well folks that is all we have time for this week unfortunately uh, we don't forget we still have to drill we still have to cut down the wee copper rods we still have to then hammer them through we still have to finish them off and then of course doing all the lacquering so please stay with us remember guys keep the likes and subscribes coming in and be ready for part two Yes, guys, thank you so much for all your support, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week on The Relaxing Wood Show. Take care. Bye-bye.